What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. First address the elephant in the room. I cut all my hair off yesterday. Um, at least it feels like all of my hair. My hair used to go down, like way down my back and I was just kind of like in the mood for a change. It kind of felt like my COVID hair. Like I was just like, I'd been growing it since I, like since COVID started and it just wasn't working for me anymore. I feel like it was getting really thin and just like dull. So I needed to switch it up a little bit. It'll grow back. I'm not that concerned about it. Uh, but I'm just like, this is kind of fun. But yeah, so that's what's new. I mentioned like back in November that I was going to be doing a version of 75 hard when the new year hit. Um, I was calling it like 75 soft and I kind of... <laughs> I filmed that video. I started. I got through 50 days. Um, I was gonna film like every other week and I was gonna give you updates and I did. I filmed two videos. I edited and uploaded one but didn't publish it yet. It was like scheduled and ready to go and then the weeks just kept going by and I kept feeling less and less inspired. Um, I felt like I wasn't making any progress. I was slacking a lot and letting myself skip a lot of the things that I was supposed to be doing for the challenge. Um, and I just overall didn't really have a good feeling about it. Like it just didn't go well. I have made so much progress over the past few months when it comes to um, my relationship with food and just like not overeating and that kind of stuff. But like the reality is I started working a full-time job um, and my schedule has changed like a couple of times and things are just like kind of weird and it's really hard to film when you work five days a week and then you also want to have like social time and family time and like relationship time. It's really hard to figure out how to do everything. So when I signed on to do this job, I knew that eventually after training, my schedule was going to switch to Tuesday to Saturday, which actually is great. It kind of sucks a little bit for like my relationship because Chris and I get one day together a week now. We get like Saturday night and then Sunday together and then he works Monday and I don't. But Monday off is great for me because that means now I have a day where I can film and I can edit and upload videos and like I started to feel really like motivated again because finally like I had passed my three months at work and I was like this is like the perfect opportunity to kick my butt into gear. Well over the past few months it's been kind of like an emotional roller coaster trying to figure out if we're going to Europe this spring. Um, I've mentioned many times we've rescheduled this trip five times and we were kind of pretty sure at the end of February that like we weren't going and that we were going to be postponing it again but our minds kind of changed when we realized that like things are opening up a lot again um cases are going down hospitalizations are going down and we kind of realized that there's a certain level of needing to stop being terrified um and just kind of living your life because like the mental health aspect of it was starting to become like not great um i think for all of us so we're the type of people like we're gonna go on this trip still and we just know that like we're still gonna be really washing our hands we're gonna be wearing our masks we're gonna be social distancing we're still gonna follow all of the rules as if we were here it's kind of like well we're here and we're doing some things out in the real world while practicing like safety and stuff like that so why can't we go do it somewhere else and like actually get to enjoy ourselves and experience something new so that's where we're at with that so as of right now we're going. It is like 55 days away, like 53 days away now, um, which is insane. I can't wrap my head around it. I'm so excited, terrified, but so excited. Um, so because of that, I decided that I kind of wanted to do a do-over and it actually worked out perfectly that it was 60 days until our trip when I decided to do a do-over. So I kind of scrapped everything and created a new chart for 60 days and just started immediately. So for example, I'm doing like eating in a calorie deficit, which I'll talk more about in a little bit, um, but I'm focusing more on a weekly average, not like hitting it every single day. Some days I'm hungrier than others. Weekends, I like to eat more fun foods that are a little bit more calorically dense. Again, we'll talk about that in a minute. Drinking three plus liters of water a day. Moving my body six times a week. There's nothing crazy about that. Like that could be like stretching for 15 minutes. It could be like a nice 20 minute hit workout. It could be just literally anything, just moving my body intentionally six days a week. Reading every day for 10 minutes at night in bed. Chris and I do this together. Um, what, what's the other one? Oh, taking a progress picture every single morning. I've been doing that since day one of 75 hearts. So I have pictures all the way back from like January 4th. Um, and I think that's what really, really affected me. I was like, it's been 50 days and I've made 
no progress like nothing I haven't changed like composition my numbers have stayed the exact same so it was just kind of discouraging and I was like how do I get on here and like share that like what do I say like oh no changes today like <laughs> so I was like really hoping that I can just like really tuck her down for like 60 days and like actually have something to share for you but I guess that, that's also important to share it's like this is the reality of the situation like starting these challenges is hard enough as it is sticking to it is hard and then filming it for people to see is even more hard but I really want to do this I really want to challenge myself and I really want to take you on this process because I wish that there's somebody out there that was posting videos for me to show me a realistic process of like what they're actually doing in a day and not just what they're telling me they're doing and then maybe doing something different so I'm gonna post once a week all eight weeks of this journey and take you through just like one day so like I'm gonna film every Monday um, and I'll do like grocery hauls I'll show you what I'm eating maybe like throw in my workouts um, just some little chats, how I'm feeling, all that kind of stuff. So I really hope you'll join me on this process. Apologies that it's coming so late and apologies that it's not quite the 75 hard challenge we had in mind, but it's still a challenge and we're still doing it. Lunch time, it's like one o'clock. This is usually when we have lunch. Um, I just reheated some leftovers. So this is a, I believe it's a chef's plate meal. This is a black pepper ground pork stir fry, which has like snow peas and peppers. And then there's like little crispy onion bits and then also green onions. Um, Chris doesn't love green onions. So I took them all. So it's just like covered in green onions. Um, and then there's some rice in here. Ground pork, so underrated. I learned that from chef's plate. So, Highly recommend trying it out. I have all of my links in the description box below for like good food, hello fresh chef's plate because I love them all and I use them all. All right, so let's get into a little bit of like what's been going on with like my calorie deficit and all that kind of stuff. So I struggle a lot going back and forth between like, should I be in a calorie deficit or should I be intuitive eating? How do I know what's right for me? Should I be listening to my body and so on and so on. And this is something that's like extremely personal and you really have to figure it out for yourself and what feels right for you. And I find that I really enjoy counting my calories. I don't like tracking macros. That is way too much for me and that's way too specific. I like counting my calories because because I'm able to fit in like a lot of nutrient dense foods while also making sure I'm incorporating like my favorite foods and my favorite treats at the end of the day. So that's kind of like, that's what I've been doing. That's what I've been having some good like success with. I had to take a step back and realize that my goal this year is really to make all of this a lifestyle change and not just a quick little fix for weight loss. And like, I have like 90 pounds to lose. So I can't really just like starve myself and overwork myself into losing that weight like and it's never gonna stay off and that's just not sustainable it doesn't make sense it's not healthy I had to realize that in the past things haven't worked for me before calorie deficits haven't really worked because I've restricted maybe a little bit too much um, I do live in like a larger body I'm five foot nine so my calorie expenditure and what I can eat in a day is a lot more than some other people who may be like smaller and shorter than me and that was something that was hard for me to like understand that like I actually needed to eat more I had been eating like 2400 calories wasn't seeing any results I was like ravenous at the end of every day and I was like I just wanted to eat all the time because I felt like I couldn't because 2400 didn't feel like a lot especially when you like give yourself a break over Christmas and you just eat whatever you want so I decided to go all the way up to my maintenance calories and I would eat at my maintenance calories for a week or two and then I would slowly reduce by 100 until I was in a calorie deficit. Right now I'm at 2,500 and like 25 calories. I jumped all the way up to like 28, 25 and for the past few weeks I've been reducing by like 100 a week depending on how I'm feeling and like if I'm making any changes and I haven't made any changes as far as numbers like numbers on the scale, body fat percentage measurements, anything like that. Um, but it makes sense because I've technically just been like around the maintenance range this whole time and not really in a large calorie deficit to notice anything right away. Um, I also started my period this week, so the number's a little bit higher, but I feel really good. I don't feel restricted. I feel the perfect amount of like, I'm challenging myself slightly and feeling good in my practice of like willpower of like 
is that gonna make you feel good to eat like an extra serving of chips tonight? Like I, I feel I'm so much more clear to think about that kind of thing, which when you're hungry, you can't think like that. It just doesn't work. Um, another thing I've been really focusing on adding more vegetables into my diet and just filling up my meals more. So yeah, so that is kind of where we are at right now. I am feeling good. I am feeling a little bit impatient and a little discouraged, I'm gonna be completely honest. But at the same time, I'm feeling really positive and motivated. It's really annoying how they both happen at the same time and that you have to kind of like make sure you're feeding into the more positive side of it instead of the negative side of it. And I think that's something that a lot of people don't share with you. Like you can be happy and motivated, but also not motivated and discouraged. It's, it's a really, really weird thing, um, but I'm navigating it and it's going okay. And if you are still here after listening to me go through this whole ramble, please make sure you give this video a like, hit subscribe. I would absolutely love it if you would hit the notification bell so that you get notified every week when I post my video and you can follow along on my journey and I can feel like we're doing this together and like I have like a little team behind me. That is so helpful. <laughs> All right, so let's get on with the rest of the video. All right, so it is dinner time. I am so hungry tonight. We actually already ate the garlic bread because we just like couldn't wait anymore. It was so good. Um, so tonight's dinner is like, it's like my famous uh, zucchini bolognese boats. That's what I call them. I call them famous because I've made them for us many times and every single time we have them, Chris is like dreading it because he forgets how good they are. And then when he has them, he's like, Oh yeah, these are freaking amazing. Um, and also I made it for Chris's parents and like grandmother before and they loved it so much. Everybody had seconds and it's just a hit. So basically it's pretty simple. I literally just like hollow out some zucchinis um, and I bake them in the oven at 425 for like 20 minutes just to like soften up a little bit. And then I diced a ton of onion put it in a pan with a little bit of avocado oil add a little bit of garlic and then you want to add like the italian seasoning and salt and pepper and some garlic powder right to the pan um, and like toast it up with the onions and then i add ground beef um, once that was cooked up i added chopped spinach i added this like portuguese hot pimento paste which is the secret ingredient you have to have it is so good taste it to make sure it's good i add the rayo's marinara sauce that is the best the best store-bought sauce you have to try it it is so worth the money it's so fresh and just tastes so good so i mix all that together and then i take the zucchini out of the oven pour it all over i like to do it in a casserole dish because there's usually extra sauce compared to like the amount of zucchini and then i'll top it with cheese this is like the four cheese like italian blend from cracker barrel um and then i'm just gonna serve it up and it would be with some garlic bread but we ate it already so i'm super hum <laughs> i'm super hungry i'm gonna go eat all right, it is like 8.30, no, it's like, I think like 10 to 9 actually. Um, 9 o'clock is usually the time, like we start winding down. I usually try to stop eating by 9 o'clock. Um, we usually fall asleep around 11 and I usually stay hungry like right up until about 9 o'clock. So that's just kind of like what works for me. So I like fit that into like my budget and stuff like that. Tonight I did eat a little bit over um, like my daily calorie goal. But like I said earlier, I do eat based on like my hunger as well. So like I was extra hungry today, so I ate over a little bit. It's likely that over the next couple of days, it's gonna even out. That's kind of like just how I've been doing things. But for my evening snack, I had some popcorn. I really like the Orville Redenbacher uh, light buttery. We get like a big box from Costco, so it's worth it. And then I also had some of these Smarties. At nine o'clock, we get up and we make our little 
evening beverage which is a mixture of it's magnesium like citrate powder natural calm if you've ever heard of it we have the cherry one right now and we'll add a tea bag to it and we kind of like to like surprise each other like with which tea bag we add um but today i requested cherry with my cherry so that's what we're having this is a cute little pack from celestial um seasonings so we've got raspberry zinger country peach passion wild berry zinger blackberry black cherry berry and true blueberry so this is like so nice and just cozy at the end of the night and it feels like a warm hug and i love it um so that's kind of what is happening right now i'm gonna go get myself like partially ready for bed sit down enjoy my tea and that'll be it for today so thank you so much for watching today next week i'm gonna do a grocery haul for you guys because we kind of ran out of time today um but yeah so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you next week bye